could our gut bacteria be making us unwell and causing obesity? Well, according to several studies, they've outlined the secret may just lie in our stool. For more, I'm joined by Kate Say from BeFit Food. Wonderful to have you in the studio with me. Let's touch on what the, uh, the gut microbiome is to start, and then we'll talk a little bit about these fecal transplants. So the gut microbiome is our entire uh, bacteria that's within our body, but it's not just bacteria, it's protozoa, it's uh, so even some viruses, there's fungi. So it's anything that is in this gastrointestinal tract from mouth to anus, predominantly in the large intestine, that actually um, helps our body function. So it's complementary to our body. However, there can be some dangerous bacteria in there as well. Okay, so let's touch on what these uh, fecal transplants are currently used for. I've heard this talked about in the past, Take us through a little more detail. So when we get what they call dysbiosis, so a, a really bad balance of bacteria in the gut, there's a particular type of bacteria that's known for causing real havoc in the right. body. So they call it C. diff for short. It's got a longer name. Now with the C. diff, it actually can destroy people's lives. It's, it's also known to cause death. It can be quite fatal. So people live for years sometimes with these recurring infections. And once you've had it once, the recurrence rates become higher and higher each time you get it and the, the current treatment has been antibiotics but every time you take antibiotics you're, you're mm. killing off good bacteria and the bad stuff keeps coming back so now they're using these fecal matter transplants or FMT to actually recolonize the gut and what they have seen is up to a 90% recovery rate in these people with C. diff and literally when you look at their colons the large intestine not a pretty sight they go from being these lumpy bumpy ulcerated really inflamed colons to being absolutely smooth as a baby's bottom interesting okay and as as we were showing me off air before some of the procedures i was getting a little woozy <laughs> let's talk a bit about the studies that um in rats taught us about weight gain i guess in a western diet and how it can be mediated with one of these transplants tell us what you've sort of read and seen yeah look there is so much research out there in the way of these fecal matter transplants and most of it is inconclusive so if anyone says they've got the answer to yeah. the gut microbiome and what probiotics to take and what transplants to have they don't because the research is just not there and it's not conclusive. C. diff it is. But when we start looking at these rat and mice studies, they've actually seen that when they overfeed rats or mice, either sugar or fructose or even artificial sweeteners and they become obese, they can actually do a fecal matter transplant with a lean mouse and put the <laughs> lean bacteria back into the obese mouse and reset their weight back to their, their regular weight. Or they can take the bacteria or the feces from the rat and put it into the lean mouse and then that lean mouse becomes obese. They don't change their food, they don't change their activity, they just transplant that faecal matter. It is incredible what um, you know science can do. Let's touch on what stool banking is. Tell me about this. So in a lot of this research, it, there is risk, I guess, with these faecal matter transplants and people have died and th there's a few reasons for this. Obviously, the people that are getting these transplants could be immunocompromised. So they could be taking immunosuppressants, already quite sick, had rounds of surgery. And so you introduce that you're introducing something that could be dangerous. And as much as they can screen this fecal matter, there's things that are still going in that may not agree with someone else. Mm. And they have ended in death in a few cases. However, the improvements have really outweighed that in, in C. diff in particular. And when we're thinking about this on a whole, I guess, what we're starting to see is there's just so much we don't know. Oh, yeah. And the power of the gut microbiome and how we can harness this. And the key is actually having a really good diet and if you are taking antibiotics, make sure that you are replacing that good bacteria that you're removing from the antibiotics. Otherwise you can end up down this path. Some really good advice there. And I'm glad you're the one out there doing the research and reading <laughs> and watching these videos and whatnot. But what does the future of obesity management look like? Uh, weight loss pills, injections, uh, bariatric surgery, and faecal transplant? Well, with the faecal transplants, we've only seen it really work in the, the rat and mice studies. Okay. There have been human studies, but a lot of the studies aren't out there don't have control arms or they're in a very small population, so they're not showing us conclusive evidence yet. Okay. What they're wanting to look further into is particular species. So rather than doing a faecal matter transplant of every type of bacteria that's in that gut, that could be thousands, it might be specific types of bacteria that people need 
need. So actually drilling down to which bacteria is more beneficial. And the reason why they do it with faecal matter transplants in conditions like C. difficile is because you can't take that many crapsules, so pills full of crap, because you will need a lot of them. So they actually <laughs> mix the faecal matter with saline solution, created a, a liquid that they actually squirt into um, the intestine. So they can either do that by going up one end or down the other end, or um, they can take these pills. But that's, that's why and how it's done. And when it comes to weight management, nothing at the moment really beats actually trying to do it yourself with a whole food diet, yeah. reducing your sugars, processing food is the absolute number one killer of a good diet and some regular daily exercise build up some lean body mass get some more protein in chuck out all the processed food yeah kate as always thank you for joining me on the program as you started to mention those procedures i started to get a little woozy but um, <laughs> look forward to see, speaking to you again next week and thank you again for your time thank you and of course, thank you to all of you for joining us here. I hope you've learned something from our discussion thus far. Go and do your research, find out what all of this is about. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Stay healthy and be well. You're watching Ticker. We'll have more in just a few minutes.